Okay, right. Don't say it! 
So there was, a, there was a lady who had a pet snake, and she loved the snake like it was her baby. One day, the snake just lost its appetite, and so she was like, oh my god, my poor baby, he's just not hungry. So she left it for a day, then it got to the second day, and he just, he still wasn't eating anything, so she thought, right, this is so weird. So she took it to the vet, and the vet was like, um... Okay, don't worry. Just try and get his favourite snacks and you know put it into small bits and just coax him into eating. Anyway, one at night she was lying in bed just asleep and she woke up and next to her was the snake. Now I don't mean he was wrapped up in a ball. He was lying parallel next to her, <laughs> rigor mortis, completely <laughs> rigor mortis. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? Right, completely big and mortis, and she's like, ah, I got my snake filled <laughs> out the, the, the vet. <laughs> she phoned up the snake. When she saw the snake. <laughs> oh, quickly! So she phoned up the vet, and he said, oh my goodness, whatever you do, just get out of the house, and just shut the door, just shut the window, just get out of that house right now. I just catch my breath there. And what actually had happened was that when snakes are going to eat their prey, they actually starve themselves, and then they line themselves up against the prey to measure themselves, <gasps> to check they could fit it in their body. So he was going gross? to eat her. Oh, he was oh my God. That is why he was lying next to her, because he was going to eat her. <laughs> she wasn't. It was my friend's sister's boss. Um, Although a lot of people I told have also had stories. So maybe he probably wasn't very hungry because she no, fed him every day. Snakes don't eat every day. You give them like a mouse a 